Hi guys, this is Rich, and I wanted to show you a new feature addition I've made to my Quick Quote Drone Pricing Tool. And I wanted to thank everybody who's already downloaded that tool. I can't believe how popular it was. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel. And uh, that tool helps me a lot. I use it to price my drone work, and I'm glad to see it's helping other people too. And this addition that I've made is based on feedback I've gotten from people who have downloaded the tool. And what I've added is just an ability to print a quote sheet itemized right from the tool itself that you can hand to your client. It's a super helpful little tool. Once you configure it, you can price your drone work in seconds. Like I said, I use it on every one of the jobs that I do. And all of the original functionality, of course, is still there. This is just an, a little addition that I've made to it. And if you've already downloaded it, there's nothing that you need to do. You don't have to rebuy it or anything like that. You can use your original download link and get this most uh, up-to-date version now. So let's go ahead and take a look, and I'll show you the new function. Just like always, the Quick Quote tool for pricing drone work allows you to enter the specifics of your mission, like how many people are in your flight crew, which type of equipment you're using, what type of software you're going to leverage, and other mission expenses, and then gives you a quote amount based on information you provided about your business during configuration. It's quick, efficient, and it can help keep you in the black. But now, you can also come up to the Extensions menu, then to Macros, and then click Populate Quote Sheet. The tool will automatically summarize your quote on an itemized sheet with your business information displayed that you can print and hand directly to your client. It looks professional and it gives the client a clear view of costs, which helps build trust. Let's take a quick look at how easy this is to set up. Select the info worksheet from the tabs at the bottom of the screen. Now simply plug in the information for each field. Business name is a plain text entry field, so I'll just type in my company name there. In the logo field, you can upload a graphic that you want to appear on the quote sheet. To do this, just click in the cell, go up to the insert menu, hover over image, and select insert image in cell. Now you can browse to the image you want to use and select it. The image will appear small in the cell, that's okay, it'll be the right size on the quote sheet. Also, as far as images go, it's best to use a logo that isn't overly large in one dimension. So like a picture that's really wide but also really short would not work very well, and vice versa. You want something close to square, which is pretty typical for a logo image. Okay, next just enter your business address, state, and zip, then your work phone number, and your website address. The last field has to do with how long you want your quote to be valid from the date you deliver it to your client. Obviously you don't want to give a client an indefinite quote or they could come back to you in say three years and expect you to do the job at the same rate you originally quoted. So I typically like to cap my quotes somewhere between two weeks and 30 days. And that's it. If we were to go to our pricing sheet now and fill out the info based on a mission we were preparing to fly. We can then go to the Extensions menu, Macros, Populate Quote Sheet, and after a few seconds we have a nice, clean, informative quote that we can hand to our clients. If you'd like to have your own copy of this pricing tool, just click the link in the description and follow the on-screen instructions. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. Fly safe.